It's my wish the most. Yes. Okay, can changes to could. For example, you can eat whatever you want. The doctor said that I could eat whatever I wanted. So you see, I could eat and also look at the next part, whatever I wanted. It goes one test back as well because the whole sentence is in the past tense now. Uh, could doesn't change. For example, it could rain on the on the day of uh, the big game because could is already uh, in the past tense and it could be used in the past tense. Uh, she said that it could rain on the day of the big game. Might does not change because again, might is considered past in some cases. Uh, we might go skiing on the weekend. They said that they might go skiing on the weekend. But may changes to might because the past tense of may is considered to be might. Um, she may travel abroad this summer. He said that she might travel abroad this summer. Okay. Again, should does not change because should also is considered in the past tense. Uh, uh, you should eat uh, more uh, vegetables. My mother said that I should eat more vegetables. Must changes to had to. For example, you must complete the, the report by five o'clock. My boss said that I had to complete the report by five o'clock. Instead of must, we use I had to complete the report. Again, have to changes to had to. For example, I have to finish the report by five o'clock. She said that she, uh, she had to finish the report by five o'clock. So some notes we have got here. Uh, remember the difference between said and told? Usually we use said without any objects. We don't need any direct objects. We say John, Jim said he was coming. Okay? This is wrong. Jim said me is wrong. So. After say, we don't need an object. So you shouldn't use an object after said. But after told, you always need a direct object. That's the main difference between said and told. So the teacher told me to come early. You cannot say the teacher told to come early. This is wrong because after told, you need an object. Clear? Yes. yes? No? Yes, yes. Okay. Note three. In reporting imperatives or commands, uh, remember to use the correct negative infinitive form, not plus infinitive. For example, Rosita told me not to eat cake before dinner. Okay? Not to eat cake before dinner. So to wrap it up, I'm going to show you another page. Uh, not here. Let me just show it here because I can make it bigger for you. Uh, yeah, I just copy and paste them here so that I can show you in bigger fonts. So the four things you need to change in reported speech are these things. First, verbs and time tenses. Uh, we talked about them right now. So if you remember, I told you that uh, simple present changes to simple past, like he said, it's so cold. Then when you report it, you can say, he said that it was so cold. Mm -hmm. Or he said it was so, so cold. Simple past changes to past perfect. Simple future changes to was going to or would, if you remember. Uh, present continues changes to past continues. Past continues changes to past perfect continues, and past perfect changes to past. Uh, sorry, present perfect changes to past perfect. So these are all what we talked about already. Um, let Let's look at the other ones. The models, as I told you, uh, can changes to could, my, may changes to might, must changes to had to, and uh, will changes to would. Okay, so. You have to also be careful about the pronouns. The pronouns should change accordingly. Uh, because when you say, for example, she said, 
like I, for example, love him. This is a direct quotation. She said, I love him. Um, then you need to change it to she. She said that she loved him. Okay? Clear? Right? Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. We are mute, okay. you know. Are you following me? Yeah, I know you're mute. Yeah. yeah. But yes, I need some kind of feedback, reactions. Yes, but we are trying to listen to you as okay. much as we can. So the last change that I'm going to talk about is time wars. Because that's why I, I just chose this page, because time wars, wars were not mentioned in our lesson. Um, so the word, as I told you, some, some of the adverbs should also change according to the time. For example, now changes to then. For example, I said, I can call John now. She, sorry, she said, she said, I can call John now. In the reported speech, it would be, she said that, can changes to could, she could call John, and now changes to then. So these are the changes that we have. I changes to she, can changes to could, and now, I mean the adverb, changes to then. Of course, we need a full stop here as well if we want to have a correct punctuation. So look at the next example. Today changes to that day. For example, she said, I'm going today. Okay? Uh, she said that she was going that day. She said that she was going that day. So instead of today, we use that day. Tomorrow changes to the next day. She said that, uh, she said, Oliver will, will be home tomorrow. She said that Oliver would be home the next day. Would be, you see, instead of will be. And instead of tomorrow, we use the next day because it's not tomorrow anymore. Yesterday changes to the day before. For example, she said she went yesterday. She said that we or they had gone the day before, okay? We or they. We don't know whether it is we or they. What is the reference? That's why both of them are written here for you. This week or this month or this year changes to that week or that month or that year. So this generally changes to that. For example, she said, uh, uh, she said I may watch it uh, this week or this month. You can change it to she said that she might watch it that week or that month. Last, last week or last month or last year changes to the week before or the month before, the year before. For example, she said that I saw Isabella uh, last week or last month. She said that she had seen Isabella the week before or the week the month before and the last thing next changes to the following for example next week next month changes to the following week or following month she said that i will go on vacation next week or next month changes to she said that she would go on vacation the, the following week or the following month okay so all said, having having said all, uh, let's 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 uh, do some exercises and uh, see what you learned. Uh, first of all, uh, I will explain about the punctuation exercise. I mean, I'm not going to do all of them, uh, just one or two for an example. So tell me how we can change this sentence to, no, how, how can we punctuate this sentence? This is a direct speech. For example, the doctor said, you should cut down on your salt intake. So after the doctor said, you must be have the quotation. Doctor and said, so what do we need here? Comma. Cut, cut, comma. Thank you, Vivian. First, comma. Then, and 
Quotation. Quotation mark. And you yes. must be capital letter. Capital. You must be capitalized. You should cut down on your salt intake. Down on you your shall. Salt. It should be intake. you shall. No, no, it is, no. It is direct speech. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, full stop and quotation, quotation mark. Full stop and quotation mark. So remember, in the in the direct speech, you do not change anything. You oh. quote whatever the other person has said okay. directly. Okay. 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 So you don't need to change anything. You just use these, these punctuations to, to to indicate that you are quoting direct speech. Okay. Let's let's have another example. Let me ask Anahit. Anahit, would you just punctuate yes. this one for me? Yes. Natasha explained, comma. Explained, comma. Quotation. Uh, quotation mark. Yes. Continue. I am because I am is a capital letter. Mm -hmm. I'm here to I learn, not to, to fool learn. around. Full stop. Not to fool around. So we need a full, full stop, stop and quotation. And quotation mark again. You see, that's yes. very quite easy. You are just reporting whatever someone else has said directly. Okay? Sam, is it necessary to, to put a comma in the middle of sentences? I yeah, am I, 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 because there are, there are two parts of the sentence. I am here to learn. Not to pull around, so we can read it much easier. When when you put a comma here, you can separate the two parts. Okay. Okay. But even if you don't put the comma here, it's okay. It's not related to our uh, punctuation lesson. So I leave this part to you uh, to do it at home for yourself. It's quite easy. I'm sure you you are quite familiar with that. And. Um, Let's go to uh, direct speech to reporter speech practice. So, in this practice, uh, report these sentences beginning with Lisa said that. So, you have to add Lisa said that to all of the sentences. For example, we must leave at six o'clock. You should answer. Lisa said that we had to leave at six o'clock we had to leave at six o'clock that's the change we have so let's go to the first one by adriana adriana my birthday will be a special day lisa said that my birthday um that my birthday uh, will be can I say? Mm -hmm. Would be. be. Would 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 Birthday. Her birthday will okay. be. Would be. Would, would be. Would. Would would be. L is not pronounced. Would. Okay. Would be. Okay. Would be. Okay. A special day. A special day. Very good. Do we need quotation marks? Mm, yes, we need. But uh, quotation marks. These these marks. No. Yeah. No. No, I no. think I think I think no. No, 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 no don't need. No. We don't need them. This is this mm -hmm. is indirect speech. This mm -hmm. one is direct speech. That's why we use quotation marks. Mm -hmm. But in indirect speech, we don't need quotation marks. We just need a full stop and the sentence is complete. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next person, uh, Afifa. Would you yep. please tell me how you report this sentence? Lisa said. Lisa said that. Mm -hmm. uh, just to come to the party. Uh, 
should I keep the like the proper noun Leticia? Like I think like I should keep it. Leticia. Leticia. Had, had to come to the party. Had to come to the party. Very good. 